Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Ryder. We are back with another unboxing video. I'm buying too much stuff, save me! So this time uh, we've got uh, something from PB Shop. It says PB Shop Returns from blah, 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 Dundale Heights, Illinois. Now what I'm thinking this is is a print-on-demand book that I ordered. Let's see if I can get it out of here without destroying it. This is kind of interesting packaging. That did absolutely nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Okay, we gotta cut it a little closer. If anybody out there knows a better way of cutting something out of its packaging than what I'm doing right now, this is still Come on. I don't want to damage this thing. But at the same time, I would like to have my, my product placed. Could I, ha could I have the thing I ordered? It would be so nice. Um, so I've been trying to do some um, research for my Down Darker Trails game, and that includes the Sanborn Institute of Pacific Antiquities, I think, or Pacific Studies. Oh, goodness, it was in there tight. Which is discussed at somewhat in the Zothic Legend Cycle. And this is the complete mythos fiction of Lynn Carter. I don't think I've read any of these. This was a print-on-demand book. These print-on-demand books don't really smell like anything. So this is fiction. We've got, uh, let's see how much how much we got here. I'm going to read the back here in a moment. We've got several, a good dozen stories here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, a good dozen stories by Lynn Carter. The late Lynn Carter was the driving force behind the famous Ballantine adult fantasy series in the 1970s. Mm, adult, okay, interesting. He was a prolific writer and anthologist of horror and fantasy with over 80 titles to his credit, including Lovecraft, A Look Behind the Cthulhu Mythos. Carter's tales of mythos horror are loving tributes to H.P. Lovecraft's revision tales and to August Erla's stories of Haster and the Relia, Relia test, text. Relia test? Most of these stories were published years ago in various anthologies and fanzines and have been unavailable for some time. This is the first collection of Carter's Mythos Tales. It includes his intended novel, The Terror Out of Time. Nice. Uh, I know very little about... I've probably read a few of these. They've probably been some of these in... Uh, the Thing in the Pit sounds familiar, and Out of the Ages, I believe, uh, might have been in, in some kind of uh, anthologies that I've read before. Oh, Strange Manuscript Found in a Vermont Woods. That is an amazing story. Go out, find that now, and read it. It is, it is quite terrifying. This is some tiny, tiny print. Hmm, maybe this isn't what I thought it was. Holy oh, there's snowbanks. No, this isn't what I thought it was. Okay. Notebook in an Abandoned House. That's the one. I don't remember who writes that. Uh, Dreams from Rhea, Something in the Moonlight, Fishers from Outside, ooh, I've heard of that. Behind the Mask, The Strange Doom of Enos Harker, The Bell in the Tower, The Soul of the Devil Bought, The Red Offering, The Dweller in the Tomb, The Thing in the Pit, Out of the Ages. Is that the one they said was the, um, the Tarot of Time? The Whore in the Gallery, Winfield Inheritance, Perchance to Dream, Strange Manuscript, Dreams from Rhea, Something in the Terror of Time, where is it? 219 is the last page, though, so... Uh, Enos Harker... Uh, Soul of the Devil Bought... Huh. This first collection includes the intended novel, The Terror Out of Time. I don't see The Terror of Time in here! The Dweller Thing, Ages, or Winfield, Perchance, Strange Manuscript, Dream from Something in the Moon, Fishes from the Outside, Behind the Mask, The Strange Doom, Bell the Tower, so... Huh! That's weird. It doesn't, apparently it doesn't have the tear out of time. Maybe I'm just overlooking something. Anyway, so there you have it, the Zothic legend. Looking forward to reading that. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to y'all next time.